Hey Jack and Daxter community, it's me again, back with more content. Today I wanted to talk about the Open Goal Project, which has been something that's been stewing in my mind for a long time. So if you don't know what Open Goal is, it's a decompilation of the Goal Engine, which is what the original Jack and Daxter ran off of. You can get this right now from their GitHub page, which I will probably link. Uh, the Open Goal Project, you gotta know, doesn't come with the game. You have to get your own assets to put into the engine. You can do this from your own disk or you just need an ISO file of the game. From there you'll be able to build the engine and uh, put all the assets in and, and have a, 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 a wonderful time. Just a, a fantastic evening with it, I'm sure. Anyway, Jack and Daxter's engine has kind of always fascinated me with just how good it is. It, it, it seems like engines were just really yeah, built different back in the day, but it feels true. They seem a lot more durable, and Jack and Daxter's engine is definitely something I would describe as durable. In my personal belief, Jack and Daxter's open world, beautiful Vista gameplay philosophy was almost completely lost when making Jack 2 and chasing the GTA trend at the time. Not to say that Jack 2 is not a good game, or that it looks bad, but it kind of feels like some of the ideas were lost when you spend 60% of the game just uh, looking down at the ground texture. But I digress. If you know about my alternative YouTube channel, you would know that I am a pretty big video game modder. I'm a large enthusiast of video game modding, uh, and I also have a video game releasing close this time next year which will be uh, available soon to wishlist on Steam. Wink wink, I'll talk about it in a future video. And the Open Goal project has piqued my interest for a while now in modding Jack and Daxter and making a brand new video game out of it. Since Naughty Dog won't do it, I'll just have to do it myself, I suppose. Fine. I'll do it myself. Would you chase the Jack 2 and 3 setting? Or would you stick with the first game setting? Who would be the characters? What dangers would they be facing? What kind of new locations would you like to visit? And what kind of collectibles would there be? Would there still be just power cells and precursor orbs? I feel like there'd be plenty of orbs to go around and probably power cells too. I, I, I imagined that it, there wasn't just 101 power cells located in the smallest sliver of this giant world map that we never got to see all of. So would you just leave the originals? Would you add some new precursor artifacts? There's so many questions to be asking. Personally, I would like to use the first game setting and have it take place during the time frame of Jack 2's intro movie when the rift gate opened and brought all the metalheads in. I think it would be really interesting to explore new locations with a new character and I, I guess a new sidekick because that's a staple. What he would be right now, I'm not sure. Maybe some sort of bird that's making a bunch of noise just off frame. I don't know. But either way, uh, I think it would be really interesting to explore a bunch of metalheads as the metalhead army invasion was happening in real time and we'd get to see how a new cast of characters and a new hero would deal with that. I think that would be a fantastic way of bringing in the existing Jack 2 lore and merging it with the original Jack and Daxter setting and seeing some new stuff that we haven't seen before. I think it would also be great to have a, a handful of new artifacts or maybe just one like power cells. So let me know what you think below. If you are someone who has worked on or collaborated with the Open Goal Project before or still is, just let me know. How, how's it going? I really want to know what the the next update has and, and what's planned, and I'd, I'd really like to know how feasible potentially modding this engine to have brand new content would even go. So, you know, let me know. And, and until next time, I, I guess you're on your own.